Hello, today we're going to run through the spill-resistant vacuum breaker assembly test using the Mako MK5 5-valve test kit. The first step is to remove the air inlet valve canopy. Next, we'll flush water from the test cock by opening the test cock and then closing the test cock. Likewise, we'll loosen the screw on the vent valve to bleed water from the vent valve. Then tighten the screw on the vent valve. Attach a bleed off valve arrangement or compensation valve to the test cock. Power on our MK5 by pressing and holding the power button. Toggle the backlight if you desire. Clear any save values by pressing and holding the back button. And verify that all the MK5 valves are closed. Attach the hose from the high side of the MK5 to the bleed off valve. Slowly open the test cock. Open the high side bleed valve. To help determine the air inlet valve opening point, the area on top of the air inlet valve may be filled with the water if discharging from the gauge. Close the high side bleed valve. Close the number two shutoff valve. Level the MK5's rate of change graph with the vent valve. Close shutoff valve number one. Loosen the vent valve screw. Ultimately, you can remove the vent valve screw. Once water has stopped flowing from the vent valve and the reading on the gauge is stable, press the capture button to record the pressure across the check valve. Maintain the gauge at the same level, and then open the high bleed valve slightly, no more than a quarter turn. Record the reading when the air inlet valve opens. Keep your eyes on the vent valve and press the capture button when water starts to flow from the vent valve. Close the high side bleed valve. Remove the high side hose from the bleed off valve to drain water from the body. Observe that the air inlet valve has opened to its fully open position and record whether or not the air inlet has opened to its fully open position. Close the test cock. Replace the vent valve screw. Slowly open shutoff valve number one and open shutoff valve number two. And finally, replace the air inlet valve canopy. Remove all test equipment that remain. And as always, test more backflows with Mako.